Hi everyone, it's Mana. Today, I want to dive deep into something fascinating. Generation differences, especially about women. I think you guys are super interested in this topic. As you know, we don't always have the same mindset and tendencies. We grow every day and at some point, our lives change and even friends or the people around us change too. I realized my experiences and tendencies were quite different in each generation. Each definitely has different tendencies and preferences when it comes to relationships with men. I thought it would be interesting to share these insights with you. It might help you understand women a bit more, no matter which generation you are curious about. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, let's start with the characteristics of women in their 20s. This generation is fresh and energetic, full of curiosity and they have a lot of desire to grow and become more attractive, striving to be adults. They might struggle to distinguish what's truly good or bad for them, but they tend to act on their gut feelings without thinking too deeply or having specific reasons. When it comes to relationships with men, they are often influenced by Netflix, dramas, movies, and the people around them. They go through a lot of trial and error to find their ideal relationships and future, so their goals can change easily due to their strong curiosity. Women in their 20s were very busy with their beauty routines and often choosing things that are making them feel good, cool, or lovely, even if these things aren't the best quality. But there's no other time like your 20s for having so much interest and excitement for many things. They long for an adult man who can help them grow. I wonder if there are women who tend to like bad guys in this generation. When I was in my 20s, I had a few boyfriends, but none of them were bad guys. They are so kind and sincere. Anyway, they were seeking their true selves and trying to become someone special. They struggle between being genuine and becoming the ideal person they envision. They shine brighter with youthful energy. Now, let's talk about the women in their 30s. I think this generation is the most attractive and they also feel the most fulfilled in their lives. This decade is often the first major turning point as they might have opportunities to make big decisions like getting married, changing careers, or finding a true path. Relationships also evolve. If they are focused on advancing careers, the people around them may change and their perspectives shift along with it. Women in their 30s are true adults. They can judge what's good or bad for them and what they want or don't want based on their experiences. So, they naturally seek men who are sincere, generous, and share the same values. With their maturity, their choices shift to being more stable and real. At the same time, they become kinder and more considerate towards others. I also experienced a lot of stimulation in my 30s and I really enjoyed it. I felt like everything was a new challenge for me. When I was 33, it was the first time I became a head chef and managed some restaurants and had great teams. This experience had a big impact on my career afterward. So, if you like a woman in her 30s, remember that she is likely facing new challenges and growing in significant ways. You need to be a dependable person who can survive in this world and protect her in many ways. It's not about money, it's about your energy and confidence. So, let's move on to women in their 40s. Women in their 40s are calm and accepting of who they are. They've learned a lot about life from their past struggles and have solved many problems. With their skills, knowledge, and experience, they often give off a soft impression and a gentle demeanor. They are mature, adult, independent. If they are single, some might enjoy being single or have dedicated themselves to their careers and have a strong sense of identity. Others might have made tough decisions and chosen to stay single. By this decade, women usually have their own values and rules. When it comes to relationships with men, they focus more on people who have good personalities and values. They already know how precious time it is, so when they choose a partner, they proceed with caution. 
If you are interested in a woman in her 40s, you can expect a mature relationship based on mutual respect and independence. You can also share skills and knowledge with them. I've watched many videos about relationships between men and women, and I see that many people struggle to find a life partner. Some people just want to play love games and then suddenly disappear. This can confuse those who are looking for a serious relationship, making it hard to trust anyone or even causing trauma from tough experiences, betrayals on dating apps, long distance relationships, or dating a wrong person. At first, you don't know if someone is serious about a relationship or not. So you need to train yourself to identify genuine intentions or not to get drawn in by superficial sweet words or temporary kindness. If you just wanna play romance games, look for someone who shares the same mindset. The most important thing is, if you like someone, whether it's your girlfriend or boyfriend, at some point, you need to change yourself or your actions because of their feedback or requests. But remember, that ch your change is not just for them, it's for yourself. The action leads to a happy future for both of you. If you feel that your change is solely for them, there's a possibility the relationship might fail. You have a responsibility to make yourself happy and when you're happy, you can make them happy too. Don't misunderstand how to handle your love. I'm sorry for going off track, but I hope this video helps you understand the difference between generations of women. Thank you so much for watching my video. Until then, I would be happy if you hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.